What's up everybody? It's Justin here again and today I'm bringing you part two of my AT gear video series. Now in part one I went over my big three which includes my pack, my shelter, and my sleep system. And today for part two I'm going to be going over all the clothing that I plan to take on the AT. So to kick things off I'll go over all the clothing that I will pretty much wear every single day. Uh, like my hiking shirt, shorts, socks, shoes, and things like that. And as we move through the video, I'll get into some of the extra layers that I'll be bringing along, as well as my rain gear and miscellaneous items like sunglasses and things like that. So uh, without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. Now, as far as my everyday wear goes, we're gonna start off with my hiking shirt. Now, I have just a simple long sleeve button down sun shirt made by Columbia. Uh, I think I picked this up from an outlet a few years back for maybe like 35 bucks. And uh, if you know me, you know that I have a lot of tattoos. Uh, you can see them on my hands and they go up my arms. I have some on my chest and all around my neck. And what I love about this shirt is that it provides a lot of coverage and a lot of protection against the sun. Um, this shirt is actually specifically designed to offer UV protection. So I don't have to blow through so much sunscreen trying to protect all my tattoos because the shirt pretty much just does it for me. And I just really love this shirt. It's easy to wear. It's super light and breathable and it's moisture wicking. So I'm not constantly sweating through it and having to wear a wet sticky shirt all day. Um, and it dries out really quickly. So I'm gonna continue to wear this shirt until it basically falls apart on me. So this will be the main shirt that you'll see me in next year on the trail. Um, as far as bottoms go, I just picked up these John G shorts from REI. Um, it's not really much to be said about them. They're just a basic pair of running shorts and I love that they have this really cool uh, leaf pattern in this cool orange and gray color. So I will be wearing these pretty much every day. Um, even if it's a little cold, I still prefer to hike in shorts than pants. Um, I can easily just throw on a pair of tights under them. And when it's warm, I've got a cool pair of shorts to show off. So yeah, these will be my bottoms. So as far as socks go, I'm pretty much going to be sticking with my go-tos, which are the Darn Tough Vermont Crew Socks. Um, again, I've been using these socks for years. Uh, one thing about Darn Tough is that they offer that lifetime warranty. So whenever your socks are sort of worn through, you can just send them back and they'll send you a fresh pair. So I will definitely be hiking in these. And under those, I'm going to be wearing some Njinji toe sock liners. And I find that spreading my toes out has really helped with preventing blisters and things like that. So that's pretty much going to be my sock setup while I'm hiking. As far as footwear goes, to be completely honest, I have not decided on a pair of shoes yet. Um, I'm still going through the trial phase, testing out a few different styles from a couple of different brands. And I'm just trying to figure out what is going to work the best for me. Um, I do have some options here that I will sort of talk about briefly, but for the sake of this video, like I have not made a final decision yet. Um, so I think my top two options are going to be from Ultra. So I have the Lone Peak 5s here and I also have the Olympus 4s. Um, starting off with the Lone Peaks, I've been hiking in Ultra Lone Peaks for about two and a half, three years now. And honestly, I really like them. Uh, I think they serve me really well and I haven't had a whole lot of issues wearing Lone Peaks. Um, if I did point out one thing, I would say that my knee does get a little agitated when I'm hiking in these for a long period of time. And so my thought process is that maybe I could use a little bit of extra cushioning, especially with the East Coast being as rocky as it is. So I decided to pick up a pair of these Olympus 4s and I'm going to be testing these out on some day hikes over the next few weeks to see if this provides some uh, relief for that. Um, another brand that I'm currently testing is Vasque. Now I actually have no experience with Vasque. I've never hiked in Vasque shoes before, but a good friend of mine, Tommy, shout out to Twerk in the Dirt on Instagram. Uh, he recommended that I check this brand out and try a few styles. Um, I know that he hiked the PCT a couple years ago in Vasque shoes. So I'm going to give these a try over the next few weeks and see if I like them. And who knows, Vasque may replace my love for ultras. So we'll just have to see about that. Um, so regardless of which shoe I decide to go with, I will always be swapping out the factory insole with the Superfeed Trailblazer insoles. 
Um, these help so much and I love them. So I'm definitely going to have a few sets of these. So if you know me, you know that I'm literally always wearing a hat. So you can definitely expect to see me in a hat out on the AT. Um, I have a couple of options here. Um, so I'll just talk about them really quick. Um, typically when I hike, I just grab the standard Nike dry fit sports cap. Um, it's really lightweight and it has these vents along the top of it, which allow for airflow. So I think that's going to be really useful, especially when it gets warmer out. But I'm also sort of debating swapping that out for this Eddie Bauer bucket hat. Um, I just like the color and the design, and I think it will also help with uh, sun protection, especially when it gets to be May, June, July, if I'm still hiking at that time. So I may end up swapping out my Nike hat for this when it gets warmer out. And last but not least, I just have a buff, which I got from REI. Um, so I'll probably be wearing this most days and at night, this will also be used as a pillowcase for my inflatable pillow, which I sort of mentioned in my previous video. So yeah, that pretty much rounds out my uh, everyday wear. And now we can get into some extra layers that I'll be bringing. Now with my mid-February start date, I am expecting to experience some very cold temperatures. So I have some layers here to help keep myself warm. Uh, the first of which is going to be this alpaca fleece hoodie uh, made by Appalachian Gear Company. Um, I bought this about a year ago and I've started wearing it on pretty much every backpacking trip. Um, it is so warm, it feels so good against my skin, and it has this antimicrobial feature which uh, prevents odors. So we're going to see how far I can hike with this without having to wash it and without smelling my own funk. So we'll see about that. Um, I also picked up this fleece beanie made by the same company. Um, I just love these products and I'm so excited to wear them a lot more on the trail. Now, as far as gloves, y'all know from my Dolly Size video that I am not playing about my hands or my feet. So like the cold fingers, it's just not gonna work for me this time around. So to prevent that, I picked up these brush tail possum fiber and merino wool gloves from Z-Packs. Um, I've heard a lot of great reviews about these and how warm they are. So I'm excited to use these. And last but not least, I have an Enlighten Equipment Torrid Pullover Jacket. Um, so this again, keeps me super warm. It's like really light and only weighs like seven ounces. And I know a lot of people like to go with a down jacket, but I decided on a synthetic option. And the main reason for that is because you don't have to worry so much about synthetic getting wet. Um, basically, down keeps you warm until it gets wet and then it becomes useless. But with synthetic materials, even if this gets wet, it will still keep me warm. So that's a lot of stress that's just off my shoulders. I don't wanna to have to worry about like not getting my jacket wet or it not keeping me warm when I really need to get warm. So I'm super excited to use this. Um, I love that it's a pullover because basically I, I love hoodies. I love like wearing pullover items. So I'm really excited about this. So next up, we've got my rain protection. And if you know anything about the Appalachian Trail or East Coast hiking in general, you know that you are going to experience a lot of rain. So it is best to be prepared for it. So starting with my rain jacket, again, going back to enlightened equipment, I have the this ultralight rain jacket. And I have to start off by saying that enlightened equipment is easily becoming one of my favorite brands. Um, at this point, I have a quilt. Well, actually, I have two quilts now. I have my synthetic jacket, and then I have this rain jacket from them. And pretty much, I love all their products. I love how lightweight everything is. And from my experience so far, everything that I've purchased from them works the way that they say it does. And so I'm hopeful that this rain jacket will be the same. Um, I used to wear the Outdoor Research Helium rain jacket. And I found on a couple of occasions that it soaks through rather quickly. Um, if you go back to my Loyal Sock Trail hike from a couple months ago, I had one day where I was hiking through the pouring rain for seven hours straight, and it pretty much soaked through after 
like two or three hours and I wasn't too pleased with that so I'm hoping that this performs a lot better and one extra detail that I really enjoy about this jacket is that it has pit zips which allows for ventilation and airflow and I tend to get really hot really fast and I sweat a lot so this should help with that so I'm excited to get to use this rain jacket um, as far as bottoms go rather than purchasing a pair of traditional rain pants I picked up a tip from Frozen's Outdoor Adventures a shout out to him um, and I purchased these body wrapper pants from Amazon so these pants cost me about $18 and they're made for dancers and ballerinas to use pretty much at the beginning of practice when they're just warming up and these pants are supposed to help warm up their muscles and keep them warm throughout practice so if it's good enough for them they should be good enough for me and what i did was i treated these in tech wash so they are now water repellent so i think these are going to be my rain pants but you know i'm still testing them out so we'll see Um, so when it gets warmer out, I might decide to swap out the body wrapper pants for this Purple Rain Adventure kilt that I bought a couple months ago. Um, I love the idea of a quilt. I love to, you know, just let the air flow down there and I'm excited to, to give these some wear. So I'm thinking that uh, when it gets to be warmer out, I'm going to send the body wrapper pants home and I'm just going to use this kilt when it's raining. So I'm excited about that. And then I have a pair of rain mitts. Um, I actually bought these very recently from Enlightened Equipment. There we go again with EE. -E. Um, these are the Visp rain mitts. Um, I'm excited to use these and I will be pairing them with the z Packs Possum gloves. Um, I'm thinking that that is going to be my glove system. Um, I still have to put them through the test a little bit just to make sure that it's a good system. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty confident in these. Like I said before, everything else from Enlightened Equipment that I have works the way that I need it to. So I'm hoping that these do the same. So uh, that's going to do it for my rain layers. So after a long day of hiking, it'll be good to get out of my hiking clothes and change into some clean, dry clothes that I can wear around camp and also sleep in. So as far as my sleepwear goes, I decided to invest in these Smart Wool 250 base layers. Um, again, I'm going to be starting my hike in mid to late February. So it is probably going to be really cold, especially at night. So it'll be good to throw those on. Um, I've tried them on at home and they are super warm and they feel really good. So I pretty much am only planning to sleep in those. Um, I don't know if I'll do too much hiking in those. Uh, maybe on like really cold mornings when I need just some extra layers to start the day, I might have those on and hike a little bit and then take them off. But I mostly just want to keep them clean and dry for nighttime. Um, the same goes for my sleep socks, which I have a pair of smart wool, uh, super thick, warm socks. Um, again, I am never planning to hike in these. I only want to keep them clean and dry to sleep in at night. Uh, probably the worst thing you can do is sleep in your hiking socks, especially when they're wet and you've had them on all day. And yeah, it's just not a good situation. So these are going to be my sleep socks. Um, they're really warm, feel really nice. I love Smart Wool, another go-to brand that I rely on heavily. So these will be my sleep socks. And then lastly, I invested in a pair of Enlightened Equipment Down booties. Um, these are life-saving. Uh, just to give my feet that extra warmth at night, uh, these are so good. Um, again, I will never hike in these. I will never wear them outside at all. These will only be for when I get in my tent and curl up under my quilt and when I'm ready to go to sleep, that is the time for these and I am super excited about them. I've worn them several times already and they feel so good at night. <laughs> so I am definitely excited about these. Um, and to wrap things up with just a couple more items, um, I'm probably going to carry just one pair of underwear. Um, I typically don't hike in underwear and the shorts that I have 
have some underwear sewn into them. So these will mostly just be for when I get to town and if I have to wash clothes, like I don't wanna just be free balling through town. So I'll have a pair of underwear just to wear in town. Um, I have some cheap sun ski sunglasses that I just bought from REI for like 25 bucks. Um, so these will protect my eyes from the sun and the mosquitoes and the flies and everything else. So gotta have a pair of sunglasses. Um, as far as camp shoes go, I almost forgot about those. I just have just some basic Tiva sandals. Uh, I've been using these for years. I love them. Um, I'm probably also gonna use them to take showers and hostels and hotels because if you know me, you know that I have a thing about putting my bare feet on public surfaces. So I will be using these around camp and also to shower. And last but not least, the one article of clothing that pretty much we all need nowadays is a mask. So I will be keeping a mask on me at all times. Whenever I get to town, I will be wearing a mask. Um, probably two. Like, I love this butterfly mask, but I definitely need like a disposable mask to layer underneath of it. Um, so yeah, if you see me in towns or if there are large groups on the trail, like I'm definitely gonna have a mask on. I definitely want to like keep myself protected and help protect those around me. So yeah, it's my butterfly mask. Um, that's pretty much going to wrap up this video. Uh, that is my clothing system for my AT through hike. Um, if I happen to change anything, I will let you all know. Uh, so stay tuned for part three. Uh, thanks for tuning in and I will see y'all later. Peace out.